Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Well, today's video is Whip Caddy Wednesday video, and I'm so excited about that. And if you are new to my channel, and this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, or you watched a few, but you haven't seen my Whip Caddy video yet that I do on Wednesday. So what that is, is um, we have these three tier carts and they're on wheels and you can roll them around and you can put your crafts and stuff in them. And so um, people have been putting them in my Facebook group page. Some people have been emailing them to me and then I take them and I put them in a video show clip. Off what everyone's been working on and anyone can submit a picture and I will put it in my video on Wednesdays because you guys have some, mm, some good old yarny goodness in those carts and I just love it. So how about we go ahead and um, grab you something to drink, grab you something to eat, sit back and relax. Let's go and ahead and roll. <laughs> so this very organized cart belongs to my sister Tanya and she says that on her middle shelf she's almost got her son's afghan done and that she can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, the bottom shelf is our nephew's afghan for his home and she said that it is halfway done and that she can't wait to show it off to you guys and the yarn holders that you see on the left side of the cart that is made by her husband which is my brother-in-law david and um, man those things come in very very handy and he has actually made several for me thank you david Okay, so here is Christine's. Now, Christine said that she just finished her last two bunnies, and oh my gosh, they are super, super adorable. And she says that uh, on the top left is a wheelchair lapgan for her mom and a bag of day shawl pattern in two of the my baskets that from my tutorial and she said that she made one a bit bigger to hold her bulky yarns and the middle shelf yarn is ready for more jellyfish and the jellyfish is so cute and on the bottom are her amigurumi books and containers with safety eyes and noses and she says happy stitching to all and now we have linda's cart linda you've got some beautiful stuff going on there she says that um she's got some baskets that she's made that you can see on the side there and that she has cotton yarn on the bottom for towels and dishcloths and that she is making a rainbow afghan from an old pattern. Everything is just beautiful, Linda. Now here we have Roxanne's uh, cart and she says that um, her top shelf is a finished child size Ninja Turtle beanie and oh my gosh, it is adorable and two needle knitted mittens to match and a toddler's ear flap hat with knitted mittens to match. And it just all sounds so cool. And she said that these are for her church for this winter. Uh, the middle shelf is a chevron blanket in progress as a Christmas gift for one of her sons. And he is going to love it. Um, the bottom shelf are eight squares that she's doing with Crystal from Bagel Day's Crochet Along. And oh my gosh, I love that pink. Um, everything is just beautiful, Roxanne. Now here we have Melinda's cart. Melinda says that the top is hooked by Robin's bottom-up triangle shawl using Mandela Harmony. And she says she also got Aubrey a headband to keep her luxurious hair out of her face. And by the way, if you like that pattern, that is actually a um, Bagel Day Little Dress on the Prairie pattern, if you're interested in that. Uh, let's see. And the second tier is yarn for a baby dress and more flower washcloths. And the bottom is more yarn just waiting for her to be inspired with. Now here we have Lisa's cart. Lisa says that um, on the top is some cotton yarns for working up dishcloths in between projects and to practice a stitch before she tries a new project. And that's a great idea, Lisa. She says that the second shelf has some of the yarn for a cardigan that she is making for herself. And she said, yes, for herself, which is a rare thing. And she says the bottom shelf has some new yarn and is there waiting for inspiration to strike. She's got three skeins of row with it, sparkle at 561 yards each. And now she says, what to make? Question mark. Okay, so here we have Cindy's 
card, and oh my gosh, do I love that red. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, uh, Cindy says that on the top shelf, she has the Scenic Beauty calendar that she's working on, and she's going to make a summer romper, and as you can see, the two dolls on the floor right there, they are actually wearing the romper set, and that's one of my patterns, uh, the summer romper, and um, yeah, so yeah, she's making one with, with the colors of the May for the Scenic Beauty calendar, and I think that's so cool. Uh, let's see. She says that on the, she also has a Canon Ivy printer on the top shelf. She's working on a project photo journal that, and you can see two jars of buttons. On the second shelf, she's working on my elf hat for Christmas in July in red and black and May's towel toppers. And the bottom shelf is Bag of Days crochet along. And here is Patsy's cart and patsy says that the bear finally has some clothes on it and that she got the doll pattern from my etsy shop and i believe that is the kalia's outfit party dress uh let's see she's still working on the increased rows of her christmas afghan and she said that's about it and for everyone to have a blessed week so here is cheryl's cart Cheryl says that on the top she's making a lace neck tank using rose cottage studio tutorial in the I Love This Cotton Yarn Amethyst. Uh, let's see, in the middle is some yarn for an upcoming summer bag and a hat project. And on the bottom is an essentials cardigan in yellow using my tutorial. And also um, is Jada and Stitches Tunisian Square Project. And oh my gosh, everything is just going to be so gorgeous, Cheryl. And I love the way you got everything so organized. Okay, so now we have Marsha's whip cart, and she says that um, on her cart, she has a baby afghan that's on the top shelf, and hats and mittens on the second shelf, and she's making lots of hats and mittens to donate for later this year. That is so sweet of you, Marsha. Mm, good old black coffee again this morning. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love putting that together for you guys and just showing off with pride the things that you guys are working on that you're up to. And I love it whenever I see my own patterns on there. That is so cool. So any pattern of mine that is on there, I will leave links below to all of them because there were quite a few of my baskets and my doll clothes on there. So yeah, I'll leave those links below so that you can, um, some are just PDF patterns I have on Etsy and some of them are tutorials that I have here on YouTube. But anyway, I will leave those links below. Uh, let me go ahead and set my coffee down. All right, um, first of all, I guess what I'm wearing, this is my granny, easy granny stitch cardigan, beginner granny stitch cardigan. I think it's something like that. I will leave the link below and for the P the tutorial and the PDF pattern, but it's just a simple one. This is one of the first ones that I made. It's just all granny stitches. I did not color control this, but I think it turned out pretty good for someone that didn't co color control. I'll leave the link below um, if you want to make this. It's for, it's a like a beginner friendly cardigan. So if you haven't made a cardigan yet, this will probably be one that you'd want to start out with. Um, the other thing, oh yeah, what I'm working on that I have on my cart is, let me pull a few things out here. I'm working out of my trusty yellow bag. There is just something about this yellow bag. I don't know. It's just, it's bright and cheerful and I seem to be gravitating to when I need a small bag to put my project in, I seem to be gravitating to this yellow and green bag. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm working on is a um, another summer cardigan. And I'm using a J hook, a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. I am using my um, Burnett Softy Cotton Yarn um, in the golden color. Isn't that pretty? I need a gold uh, cardigan really, really bad. I really need a black one. Um, I did make me a black sweater, and oh my God, it's called the Essential Sweater. I wore that thing all winter, and I loved it. So um, now I need a summer black cardigan. I need to break down and do that. I have the yarn over here waiting. I just need to do it. Black is just not that fun to work with, but it sure is pretty when it's done. <laughs> 
Okay, the color of this one is Goldenrod. It's Burnett Softy Cotton. Right here, Burnett Softy Cotton. It is, um, it should be about 254 yards. Um, where does it say that on there? Goldenrod, I said that. It's a three light. Yeah, 254 yards on here. But so I believe I'm probably going to use two and a half of this. Um, so what I am making, it's actually, I'm going to show this to you. This is my simple summer cardigan. I believe that's the name of this one. I will leave the link below to that this one too. And what this is, I believe this was made out of some of that fleck yarn from uh, Michael's. But it, you see it's three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets, chain three. That's what this is right here. So for this one, um, I am working on, and this one I'm doing just a tad different. It's basically the same thing, but it's just two double crochets in a chain three. That's all it is. So if you guys want to make one of these, you can make one of these. You don't even need a tutorial for it. You can actually just go by my pattern there. Um, I'm thinking about going ahead and doing a tutorial for it. Anyway, just in case, you know, someone sees this and they're like, well, I'd rather do the two instead of the three, but it's basically the same pattern. Just different, um, instead of three, two, but I've got both, I've got one panel done and I haven't done the other one yet because it's going to be on camera if I decide to do it. Um, so, but that's one panel and I. All you do to construct these is you put the two panels together um, and then you con you connect them on the side and then that's all. And if you want to add some sleeves to it, you would crochet in the round. But if you don't want to add sleeves to it, you can just do like I did right here. I didn't even add sleeves. I just did a little tiny little border and that's it. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm working on. I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, like I said, I'm really needing a gold color. And uh, I probably need to go ahead and make another one of these in black when I get done. Um, but I still have that copper color that I want to do. Ah, oh, choices. Ah, oh, I'm dying here, guys. I'm dying here. Okay, um, let's see. What else do I have? Um, in my ladies group at, ch at my church, we are starting a new seven-week series. Well, a seven-session series, actually. Um, we're going to do this every two weeks. Anyway, this is the book we're going to be working out of. It's called Encountering God. And so I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, got this off Amazon and it was here in one day. Look at that. So we're going to go over this and do this little study together with the ladies in the church. And I'm so excited about that. Um, it's a pretty big book. See? That's the back side. <laughs> it's a pretty big book. Quite a few ladies study groups at my church over the years. And um, most of the time when we get these books, they're always small. Like, we're talking like this size maybe. <laughs> and uh, so I was pleasantly surprised to see this one. But anyway, if you're interested in this, um, I'll leave the link below for this. But yeah. Um, um, it says, Cultivating Habits of Faith Through the Spiritual Disciplines is what this is going to be about. Okay, so um, now that I've showed that, the other thing that I'm working on is I'm supposed to be doing a Batgirl. And this week has been chaos week. I'm surprised I've gotten anything done. Um, but I will show you, I have pulled out the yarn. Once you pull out the yarn, that's a good sign, right? It's Batgirl. And so here's the colors. I've chose a deep purple and a golden color. It's hard to tell. I've seen so many pictures, and it's just really hard to tell what her outfit actually is. Sometimes it looks deep purple. Sometimes it looks light purple. Sometimes it looks black. I just don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and do a compromise of going between the black and the light purple and do a dark purple. And just call it a day. Because, you know, when it's all said and done, when someone purchased the pattern, they're going to use their own colors anyway. Uh, sometimes I just stress over things that don't even need to be stressed Another thing out. that I would love to be on my hook this week is I want to go ahead and start on this uh, crochet along with Rukurumi. You know, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, right? 
<laughs> but uh, this is the first one in the series, and I thought, you know, I want to go ahead and get started on that. That'll be fun. So that is really all that I have on my hook. Um, oh, and then the bag of day. I forgot. The ninth square. I will be working on that one today because I want to go ahead and get it done. And if I do get it completed like I'm hoping I will today, um, I'll show that in either Thursday or Friday's video. But if I end up babysitting over the weekend and not being able to get my video up, it'll be in Monday Crochet Chat. So excited that we are finally on the last square. This has been so much fun. I've enjoyed it. But I'm just anxious to, you know, get this thing put together. <laughs> uh, it's been so much I'm not fun. not sure anyway. what I'm talking about. It's Crystal from Bag o Day. She is putting on a nine square uh, crochet along. And so that's what this is. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave her playlist down below if you'd like to, um, you know, work on these squares. And um, I think that you're going to learn a lot of new stitches from it. Um, I have, and I just think it's been not just fun, but um, educating at the same time. Hey okay, guys, let's do our 365 days of prayer. My safety. They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine, they will have more than enough. That is Psalms 37, 19. Rock of salvation, you are the refuge my soul longs for. I stand on your foundation of peace that keeps me steady, no matter what is going on around me. I am always connected to your abundant grace that empowers me with everything I need. I know you will provide for me when resources are running thin. You won't leave me hanging. You never do. When I walk through the hard times, you will lead me out. They won't last forever. Even in the middle of them, you give me everything I need to survive. You're so good in your provision. I could never exhaust your reserves. What good news. You are so reliable, Lord. Why would I look anywhere else for the help I need when you freely give it? You are so rich in love and mercy. Your peace is my portion in every season. Joy dwells deep within me, connected to your fountains of life. I am so grateful for your friendship. You are the best. And this is where do you find your security in hard times? Yeah, guys, if you would like your whip cart in one of my videos on Wednesdays, please email me or please post in the Facebook group page so that I can include your photo. And in there, when you leave your post, please say what's going on in your cart. That way I have something to let everyone know what's going on in your cart. <laughs> okay, just guys, just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.